So palbociclib is the first cyclin-dependent kinase 4-6 inhibitor uh, to be approved by the FDA for any indication. The current indication is the first-line treatment of advanced postmenopausal ER positive HER2 negative breast cancer. This approval is based on a strong preclinical and clinical data set that suggests that CDK4-6 inhibition uh, is important in this subtype of breast cancer. Uh, it is based on laboratory data uh, initially done by Dr. Dennis Slayman and myself and the team here at UCLA in collaboration with Pfizer uh, that identified that ER-positive HER2-negative breast cancer models seem to be uniquely sensitive to cyclin-dependent kinase 4-6 inhibition. And in addition, preclinically, we demonstrated that uh, there was synergistic inhibition of growth when combined with antiestrogens. With this in mind, we designed a phase 1-2 a uh, global, open-label, randomized phase two study comparing palbociclib and letrozole to letrozole alone. And it's the results of this phase two study, the Paloma 1 or TRIO 18 study, which really demonstrated a significant and clinically, very clinically meaningful improvement in progression-free survival. Uh, in this study, about 165 women were randomized between the two arms. Uh, and those that received letrozole alone had a progression-free survival of about 10 months, and those who received palbociclib had a uh, progression-free survival of just over 20 months. So that's a hazard ratio of 0.49, or a 51% decrease in the risk of progression. It was really this striking improvement in PFS uh, that garnered uh, palbociclib a breakthrough therapy designation and then expedited approval for this indication. Yeah.